Hey fourth graders, today we are going to talk about comparing whole numbers. Now comparing whole numbers is something that you've definitely done before. We're just going to be doing it with bigger numbers. The cool thing is the strategy for comparing whole numbers and ordering numbers is the same no matter how big the numbers are. So this is something that you probably already are pretty good at. But again, I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of different strategies um, as we are looking at even bigger numbers in fourth grade. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is why it's important to understand how to compare and order numbers. Well, there's a lot of real life application for this. If you are going to the store and you're shopping and you want to buy, you know, the best deal, you want to get the price that's the lowest, you're going to have to be able to compare numbers to do that. Um, that's just one really simple example. Let's say that somebody gives you two different options um, like this. You're like, would you rather, you guys like that would you rather game, right? Would you rather have this amount of money or this amount of money, all right? Well, if I don't know anything about numbers and I don't have a really good number sense, I might pick the wrong one, right? Now, hopefully you're immediately going, this one, this one, that's the one you want, right? Hopefully that's what you're doing. But there are some reasons that I might pick this if I don't understand how to compare and order numbers. This number has four nines and this number has four zeros. I know enough to know that nine is bigger than zero, right? This one has four nines. That sounds really awesome. This number has four zeros. But when we're thinking about the value of the digits, we're all going, always going back to what are the value of the digits? And you're going to hear me talk about value of digits all year long. Okay. What are the value of the digits? Well, if I'm looking at this nine, it's in the ones place. So it's only worth nine and this is worth zero. Okay. We're bigger still. I mean, no way, no matter what, nine is going to be bigger than zero, right? But let's go all the way up to where we have something different. My biggest place in each number is the ten thousands place, right? I have ones, tens, hundreds, and then new family ones, tens, right? Same thing over here. So this is my ten thousands place. And what is the digit in that place? This one is a one, so it's 10,000. This is a seven, which is 70,000. And 70,000 is way bigger than 10,000. So it honestly doesn't even matter what these are because the biggest place is the one that has the impact, all right? So when we're comparing numbers, it's always important to look and see what is the biggest place. First of all, do they have the same biggest place? Because that right there is gonna tell you which one's bigger. And if they do have the same biggest place, well, which one has the same, or the bigger number in the biggest place? If they're both the same, then you move to the next biggest place and you work this way. Most of the time in math, we are working from right to left. But when you're comparing numbers, you always want to start on the left and work your way right because these are the bigger places. All right, so let's look at two different ways that we can compare numbers really easily. I'm going to use the same two numbers and I am going to, um, sorry, I was looking for my pen. <laughs> I'm going to show you two really great strategies that we can use. One of my favorite math strategies to use is called an open number line. Now you've probably heard about open number lines before and you've probably used them before. We are definitely going to be using them this year, but if you're not familiar with the term open number line, an open number line is a blank number line that you can use to help you solve math problems. And so it's not a number line that's already pre-labeled with numbers. You're going to put the numbers on there that you want to put on there. So we are going to be comparing, we're actually going to compare three numbers and we're going to put them in order from least to greatest. All right. So we're going to compare um, 13,486. We're going to compare 14,295. And we are going to look at 13,492. Okay. These are the three numbers that we're putting them in order. Now you may immediately know which one is the biggest and which one's the smallest and which one goes in the middle. And if that's the case, then awesome. All right. But if you're maybe a little bit unsure, here's how we can do our open number line. All right. So I'm going to take my number line and I'm going to draw it. We always put our arrows on the end because that shows the numbers keep going in either direction. And I want to think about, well, what numbers will these fall in between? And so I'm going to kind of take a look at the higher place values on my numbers, okay? We have 13,000, 14,000, 
13,000. So my lowest number on my number line is going to be 13,000. Okay. And then right here in the middle, I'm going to put 14,000. And I'm putting it in the middle because this number is bigger than 14,000 because these aren't all zeros, right? And then I'm going to put 15,000 over here. All right. And now I'm going to kind of do like my hundreds. Now I'm not going to label every single one because that's going to get really um, jumbled. Okay, but I'm going to kind of now look at like the next digits. Okay, so we have 400, 400, and 200 here. All right, so I can have maybe, let's say this is 13,500 right here, right? And then I'll split this one in half, and so that would be 14,500. And I kind of want to go in there. Now, I'm looking at these two numbers, this one right here, and it says 13,486. Okay, so I kind of want to, I'm going to put my 13,400. All right, and then I might go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and there's 500, right? You can see, again, I didn't put every single, like, number, because if I start writing all these, it gets really jumbly, okay? So 13,400, and this is 86, so 13,000. This is 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So it's going to go right around in there. And then this one is 14,000. Sorry, I'm looking both. I did that one. 13,492. So it's still in this same section, right? But this one is 92. So 90 would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. Okay, so this one is... 13,000, if I could write sideways pretty well, I would. That would be a little bit better way to write this. 486 goes there. This one is 13,492. Okay, so I got that one. And then now I'm going to deal with the one with a different beginning part. 14,200. Well, I already know 14,000 is going to be here. So if I did like 14,200, let's say that's there about. All right, so 14,295 is going to go about there, right? And so that put my numbers in order. My smallest number is here, middle number, biggest number, okay, or least to greatest. So that's a, a simple example of using an open number line. Again, open number lines, you can kind of use how you want. So however you feel comfortable setting it up is how you get to set it up. Another way to do this would be to use a place value chart. So I'm going to kind of do two houses. I'm going to make them like three-story houses. Okay, let me move my camera so you can see better. There we go. All right, so I'm going to make my houses kind of like three-story houses. All right, and then here's my comma somewhere in there. All right, and I have my hundreds, tens, and ones in each house, right? Okay, so ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. And remember, we always start with a higher place value when we're comparing. So I'm going to take my three numbers and I'm going to write them into my place value chart. So 14,295 and 13,492. Okay, and as I'm looking down the columns, remember I'm going to start here. These are all the same. So now I have to go here. Oop, I have three, four, three. Four is my biggest, which means this number right here is the greatest. Okay, so these two had the same, so I have to go again here. All right, remember this one's already out, so I'm going to kind of cross it. All right, now I have four and four. Oh, they're still the same. So I'm going to go here. I have an eight and I have nine. Well, nine is the next biggest. So this is in the middle. And this one is the least. And so this way, with you're making those, those place value um, charts, it just kind of helps to keep the numbers organized a little bit more. Because sometimes, especially if you're dealing with a whole bunch of numbers, it can be really easy to make a simple mistake. 
Comparing numbers is not a difficult concept, but it is a concept where it's really easy to make a mistake. Another mistake that I see a lot of students make is just simply in reading. If a problem tells you to order the numbers from greatest to least, the biggest number needs to be first. If it says to go from least to greatest, the smallest number needs to be first. So you want to make sure when you're comparing numbers that you are organized and that you are reading carefully. All right. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.